I'm going to show you Seed Pro Ad Coming Soon Pro and this plugin uh, is the pro version of Ultimate Maintenance Mode plugin. So this is the free version right here. Uh, you can go ahead and download it. I did that and I tried it out. I really liked it, so I decided to go for the pro version, which is uh, doesn't cost that much. So it, it's installed on my site here, or on this client site, friend site. Uh, it's right here, as you see, I have installed it. It says I've installed, I also put in the uh, license number for it, so I have valid licenses. And as you see, it does automatic updating for the pro version. So I can just go ahead and update that right now. This red area right here, it shows how that it is acting. It says coming soon mode active. And that is just a reminder that it is on. So as you see it right here, I can go into settings here or I can go to settings down here. So if you had the regular free version, you can just uh, uninstall that and then just use the pro version. Uh, I'm doing this little video here because I just really like the options it has. It has these tabs up on the top, settings, design, advanced subscribers, live preview. And up on the top, you can, it can be disabled and enable coming soon mode or maintenance mode. And um, when I'm in the coming soon mode, and log in, uh, I'll see the website. And anybody else who's not logged in, they'll just see a landing page uh, for it. So here's license key, I put that in there. A logo, I also upload a logo. And what you see below here is Norwegian. I just want to show you um, the site I'm using this plugin on. And the site is called Fødekraft, which, which is birthing power. So I have a friend who does yoga and massage, stuff like that for uh, women and their husbands who need some extra help during this period of the woman in labor. So the, here's a description of the site. Headline. Save subscribers to, I'm using gravity forms. So I decided to then put it to gravity forms because here you can choose from whatever forms you want uh, to save subscribers to. As you see right here, I added a form called Nyhetsbrev, which is newsletter, to my front page or the landing page. And here it says override gravity forms confirmation page, and that it does. So after someone subscribes, they'll get a message, and this is the message right here that they'll get. So thank you for uh, letting us know your interest and basically that. So here, share buttons, uh, click whatever you want to use. You can also add a progress bar uh, setting. I'm just going to drag in. I open this uh, website in Firefox. So this is then the landing page for the site. So here's the icon and here you see the favorite icon up here headline, text, and then the gravity forms form, and also a Facebook icon. I can add a progress bar if I want. So basically you can set it a date, and then if you want a basic or stripe or animated, it's up to you. I can put a countdown if I want, and here's the header section. Uh, favorite icon, or favorite icon right here, SEO title, SEO description, and I'm using Google Analytics code as well. Footer credit, I'm just going to skip this part, I don't need it, but if you want, you can just put it in. Social media profiles. So basically, just put in whatever you need here, and you have to also select them above here, which buttons you want to use. And let's see, we have language strings, so I could probably just change this then to Norwegian. 
and it's great just have the language uh, strings available like this and just remember to save all changes after you make some modifications here so design I can select the background color or background image if there's some image I can stretch it across I can have background effects noise uh, or none background slideshow which I am using here randomize it slide speed slide transition and here is then the links to the images that I use and this I just went into my media library and took uh, edit on an image and just copied the link and as it says right here too you can also even put a background video in here and it's better right now as you see so text and text color link button color headline color font and yep as you see and inside the container so I can have a container color, container position, container effects which is I put a fade in and it has opacity on it as well, rounded corners and a border and even a width so these are some great options that it contains these are the typical things one needs so basically once you just uh, other developers should just l really look at how the UI is done for this plugin and see what options are in there and also there's a template section which I have not touched yet uh, if you need that just go ahead and modify here and that was that section so I'm going to show some of the things I've done here then here's the slideshow in the background you see the pregnant women and you can also see a thin green border around it and it has a kind of fade in thing to it opacity uh, so you can see, see through a little bit rounded corners as well so next section is then advanced I have not touched this at all so just basically go through it and look at it one thing here though landing page mode if I want one of these pages to be a landing page instead of just the whole site I can choose that right here script section here's import and export I can import um, uh, settings from another site and I can just export this as well to another site subscribers and they're not here because I chosen to use the gravity forms uh, area instead and then last one is live preview so I can basically see what it looks like when I make the various modifications so and here's the one icon that I use you can use other icons as well as you saw from the options so this is a great plugin when it comes to UI design and the options and uh, various areas here just kind of basically cover whatever I need uh, for the style and the features I need for the maintenance mode or coming soon mode or landing page and if you're thinking about buying this and if you need it for a few sites just go ahead and there's no hesitation here it's a great plugin to use